I'm B from Tyler School of Art, and this is Art at Home with Spiral Q. Today's activity is hand puppets. Required materials for this project are cereal boxes or thin cardboard, strips of newspaper, scissors, a hot glue gun, paper mache, and paint. Optional materials to decorate your puppets can be bottle caps, yarn, food packaging, beans or rice, soda tabs, or whatever creative solution you can come up with. Start by cutting one flat sheet of cardboard out of your cereal box, and then fold the sheet in half. My first puppet's going to be a dog, so I'm drawing an elongated oval shape and cutting that out of the cardboard. I'm labeling the tops and bottoms and then trimming off the end. For a human base, you can fold the cardboard in half the same way, then take a circular object and trace half of that object. Just cut these out and then these are the bases for your puppets. The next step is to build up the skeletal structure of your puppets. Using a hot glue gun and thin strips of cardboard, create arches around the oval or circular base of your puppet. These arches serve to be the top of the head and the bottom of the jaw. I'm also adding mini arches below the main arches to act as rings to slip my fingers into while using the puppet. Working off of these main arches, I'm adding strips of cardboard down the length of the puppet to act as the bridge of the nose and the bottom of the jaw. I'm also adding more mini arches throughout the puppet to help aid in the structure, especially at the tip of the nose and the cheeks. Essentially, I'm just imagining the shape of my puppet and creating the skeletal structure through strips of cardboard. Once your structure is built, you can go ahead and start macheing. Mix your mache as per the package, or you can use a one-to-one -one ratio of flour and water. Dip strips of newspaper or brown paper bag into your mache mix, smoothing off the excess and pressing it onto your skeletal structure. Be sure to follow the shape of your skeletal structure and not cover it. You can also use this time to build up other shapes such as eyebrows and cheekbones. Make sure you do at least two layers of paper mache. Once you're done macheing, it's time to start painting. Grab your paint and a reference photo and start painting however you like. My puppet is of Spiral Q's warehouse dog, Lola. Once Spiral Q moves, we won't be able to see her as much, so I thought it'd be really neat to commemorate her as a puppet. Once your puppet's all painted, go in and add some extra features. For Lola, I'm adding beans on her nose and for her eyes, as sometimes we call her Lola Bean. For a human puppet, you can add bottle caps for the eyes, some beans or paper or paint on some pupils, and then I even made some fake eyelashes out of painted cardboard. Using t-shirt yarn from a previous video, I'm just cutting some strips and gluing it to her head for some hair. For both puppets, I went in with more paint for finishing touches. Puppets are a great way to bring to life different characters and even friends. Be sure to show us what you make. 